Ready to become a logo designer? By the end of this video, you will know exactly how I made this logo and how you can create variations of it in terms of color and effects. I'm going to be using Adobe Illustrator, but if you don't have it, grab the free trial that's available to you, create your logo and be on your way. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sandra and I'm a freelance graphic designer. Please consider subscribing if you are interested in graphic design tutorials, digital products to sell online, and small business tips. If you've already subscribed, I wanna thank you from the bottom of my heart. It means a lot for brand new channels just like mine. So I chose this logo in particular because I've designed tons of logos for clients and this style seems to be very popular. What's great about this video is I'm going to be teaching you a lot of basics on Adobe Illustrator that you can use to create other digital products like digital planners, printable wall art, greeting cards, event stationery, you name it. Side note, the logo that I'm designing today is actually also available in my Etsy shop. So if you're interested in getting this customized for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description box down below if you wanna check it out. Now, without further ado, let's go to the computer and get started. Okay, so like I said, we're going to be designing this logo here. And I'm actually going to be showing you variations of this logo. So you're going to learn how to create this gold effect for the monogram, how to add this gray border, how to add a gold border, and how to have a gray monogram. If you go up to the menu bar here, click on File, New. And I work in inches, so I'm going to just start with a 5 by 5 inch artboard and go create. If you go over here, this is your toolbar and you're going to be using this a lot. So if you click here and go to type tool and just click. And then I'm just going to type in ML. Over here is your fonts and you can change the font size here. So I'm just going to use this font. If you click here, you can drag it to make it bigger, but I'm just going to go up here and use a 230 size font. You can drag this to make it wider or skinnier. I'm just gonna bring it in just like that. And then I'm going to create the border. So if you go back to the toolbar here, click on ellipse tool and click on the artboard. And I'm going to use a 3.25 inch diameter. So press okay. And it's going to default to a black fill color. So if you go over here, you can change it to this red line here means transparent or invisible. So just click on that. And then right now the default is a is an invisible outline. So just click on that and select the black so that you can just you can see it and you can work with it. And now if you want to align it vertically and horizontally just to start out, if you select both you can go up here and align it vertically, horizontally. But if that doesn't show up for you, just go up to Window, Align, and the Align toolbar will show up here. Okay, so now I want to type the name along the top of the circle. So select the circle, go to Object up here, Path, Offset Path. And I'm going to offset it by 0 0.05 inches. You can actually preview it if you want to see how much it'll offset and press OK. And with that selected, go to the toolbar, type, uh, go, go to type on a path tool, and then click. And it's just going to default to the last font and size that you were using. So I'm just going to go ahead and change it right now. And I'm going to use this font here. And I'm going to change it to size, let's say 35. And I'm going to type in the name, Mary Lawrence, our made up wedding planner for the day. So now I want to add in her service at the bottom. So click on here, go back to object, path, offset path. And this time I'm going to offset it by 0.35 inches. And you'll see why in a second. So press OK. And with that selected, again, go here and go back to type on a path tool and click. And you're going to type in the service. In this case, it is wedding planner. And with that selected, you're going to see this line here. Just drag that inside the circle. And now you can rotate it. And you can play with the orientation. You don't have to have it all aligned. You can bring it over here if you want. Um, 
It just depends on the look you're going for, but for now, I'm just going to have everything aligned. Okay, so now I want to create a wing that sort of ends at the end of this L and begins at the beginning of this M. So it does take a little bit of practice to do this, but you'll, you'll get the hang of it. You're gonna select your monogram and then go to Object, Expand. Press OK. And all these nodes are going to pop up. So basically, these nodes mean you can delete the nodes, you can move them around, you can add nodes. Um, so for now, I'm going to draw in the wing first, and then I'm going to start deleting nodes. So I'm going to show you exactly how I do this. Go back to the toolbar and go to the pen tool. And this is where you're going to manually draw in your wing. So what I like to do is I like to start all the way from the beginning. And you're just going to click and drag. And it's going to create these sort of arcs along your line. And again, it's going to default to a black fill and an invisible outline. So go back here and just select the invisible fill and make it a black outline so you can see it. And then all these nodes, again, you can play around with it as much as you want. It's, it's not going to be perfect in the beginning. You're going to have to adjust it as you go. But now that I have an idea of what I want my wing to look like, I'm actually going to be deleting these nodes. So if I select it and go over here to the pen tool, go to delete anchor point, and you can select the nodes that you want to delete. So of course that takes some playing around, but I'm happy with that for now. So now I'm going to do the exact same thing to the M on the other side. Okay, so as you can see, it does take some time, it takes some practice, but you'll get the hang of it. So what I want to do is I want to break this circle where the wings intersect with the circle. So if you click on this with the white um, selection tool here, go to the cut or the scissors tool again, and then just click here. I'm just going to eyeball it and delete that piece. Bring it down a little. Now I'm going to change the whole logo into a gray color. So I'm going to go back to the white selection tool and I'm going to select the letters. So go over here, double click, and this color picker is going to pop up. Go to color swatches. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom here and I'm going to pick this gray and click OK. Now I'm going to change the color of the border and the wings, but I'm changing the outline color. So go over here, click on this, double click, and then go to color swatches again, and I'm going to select the same color, which is this gray here. So now you have your gray logo. Now I'm going to add my pink watercolor. So I actually purchased this package from Creative Market, I mentioned this in a previous video. I'm going to link this package in the description box below if you guys wanted to purchase this as well and use for your graphics. So you can just drag it into the artboard or onto the artboard, I should say, and then click on embed. So now you can just play with how you want it. I kind of want it to just look a little bit more round, I guess. And now we want to send it to the back. So right click, arrange, send to back. Now is my favorite part. We're going to make the monogram gold. So go to your selection tool over here. And let's start with the L. So select the L and go to gradient. If this is not here for you, just go to the menu bar, click on window, 
and go to gradient. Okay, so click on this and then select somewhere in the middle of this bar here and make the location at 50%. And then go down here and change the color code or the hex code. And I found a color that I particularly liked. So it's F6E27A, press enter. And then select a location over here and make sure it's at 25%. And you're going to change the code here to CB9B51. Hit enter. And I'm gonna do that again over here, just at 75%. And I could just copy and paste it, but I'm just going to type it in again, CB9 B51, enter. And then these, you can just delete. So select it and delete here. And now you have a gold L. So now to make this super easy, just select your M and then go to your eyedropper tool, or you can just type I on your keyboard and then select the L and the M will take the gold effect from the L. We're gonna do the same thing for the wings. I'm just gonna type I, select, and I'm going to change the outline to be gold over here and make the fill invisible. And there you have it, you have a gold monogram. So now if you want, you can make your border gold as well. And now if you don't want the border, just select it and delete. And one last tip, if you want to make the pink watercolor lighter, you can actually just click on it and you'll see the opacity up here, it's at 100%. I'm just going to change it to say 50. And that lightens it up by a lot. You can darken it a little bit, let's say 70. You can just play with that and see how you like it. But that's just a little side note if you wanted to experiment with that. All that's left to do at this point is you wanna export your file to a PNG or a JPEG. I hope you found this video helpful and it wasn't too difficult to follow along. If you have any questions or requests on other digital products that you want me to create, let me know in the comments. I respond to all of them and I will consider filming a tutorial specifically on what you want to know. And if you manage to stick around to the very end, I have a gift for you. It has nothing to do with this video, but it's free digital planners. You can grab your free daily planners, weekly planners, and daily notes in the link in the description box down below. As always, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and make sure to subscribe to my channel before you go. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next Tuesday, guys. Bye.